number two, what are the polar coordinates of the point two, negative two? So as I look up here, I don't see any degree symbol or anything like that. So that means this is an X and this is a Y. Now, if we want to get from X to Y to polar, polar is in the form of R comma theta. And the relationship we've learned, there's a few of them, is one is from, uh, we had that cosine theta equals X over R. It's from the song psi Y cos X, and which means that sine is Y over R. And by the way, R is the same thing as H, so we can put an H there. And so if I wanted to get X by itself, what I could do on this first equation over here is I can multiply both sides by R. And we find out that R is the same thing as, excuse me, X is equal to R cos. And over here, Y is equal to R sine. But this time they gave me X and Y. So the way we would actually convert is we would use these other two is that X squared plus Y squared equals R squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. And that tangent theta equals Y over X. These are the four formulas we'll use to convert back and forth. Since they gave me x and y, I'm going to plug it into this form here. And so I would say that 2 squared plus negative 2 squared equals r squared. This is 4, and so it would be 4 plus 2 negatives make a positive, which means that it equals 8. So r is equal to the square root of 8, or we could write that square root of 4 times square root of 2, so that r equals 2 square roots of 2. Now we know that's our R. We can eliminate these choices. And now we've got to find the angle. How do we do that? Well, we use this tangent formula. So I'm going to say that uh, tangent is Y over X. I'm going to write it over here. Tangent theta equals, this is my Y, negative 2 over X, which is 2. Now to get the angle, what I'm going to do is inverse tangent. The only way to break apart a trig function from this angle is to do inverse. And so theta would equal tangent inverse, and this negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Now, we could do the hand trick, or you could type it into your calculator, but uh, the, the only way that tangents 1 is that you'd have, if you're doing hand trick, the same amount of y's as x's, so you need the same amount of fingers, which means you're bending your middle finger, which is pi over 4. Now, if you're not sure of that, we can go to the calculator, and uh, let me go over here. And I would type in inverse tangent. And I'd press, uh, the value was negative 1. Whoops, sorry. Negative 1. And I press enter. Now, I'm in degree mode. I can tell that because when I highlight this uh, settings button, it says degrees. So it's negative 45 degrees over here. So I'm going to put it here. Theta equals negative 45 degrees. And now I'm going to need to just check it to make sure it's in the right quadrant. So the y value was negative 2. The x value is positive 2, which means it's right 2, down 2. Now, does negative 45 degrees actually take us to that point? The answer is yes, that is accurate. So that is negative 45 degrees. Now, as I look at my answers, they've given us uh, these in radians. Now, remember, this is almost one whole pi here. So this one would be the value if, is, if it were this way. So that one's out. 7 pi over 4 is almost 2 pi, which 2 pi is all the way back around here. So 7 pi over 4 is this answer. Um, it's just it's gone around the circle this way. This is 7 pi over 4 going like that. So H is the right answer. Now, if you want to use the calculator, we could. Here's what we do. You hit control parenthesis, and it gives you the bracket. We type in our points. It was 2 comma negative 2. Now, to convert it to polar, what we do is we press a menu. We're going to choose vectors. And we're going to go down and choose vectors again. And here, we're going to say convert to polar. And I hit enter. This will give me, that's my radius, which we could check our answers. And we'd find out that 2 times the square root of 2, like we had for our radius, is that number. So that's our radius. This is our angle. If I wanted to switch to radians, I could. But again, I would just, just graph it and figure out which quadrant it is to get the radians. I think it'd be quicker that way.